What are you making, Sana? So, I'm making, uh, this is a healthy broccoli crust pizza from Trader Joe's. And I topped it with some tomato paste, some dried tomatoes, vegan parmesan, some prosciutto. And I'm making a Thai vegan curry. Oh my god. You know, That's a really cute yeah. outfit. Look at you. Ta da! It's really hot, so I'm gonna put it there. Sana, we're so lucky that we're stuck in quarantine with you because every night it's like we're going out to a restaurant, but better because it's really, really healthy. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can see, Ta -da! I'm finally in my new little filming space. <laughs> we painted the wall, I put my plants there. Uh, so yeah, we finally had time to do this at home. In today's video, I want to share with you guys kind of my story from uh, gaining weight to transforming back into shape into a couple weeks. And I will tell you guys a little bit more about the story, how I gained weight and why and my tips and tricks how I transformed this back. About two months ago, I think that's kind of when quarantine started. Right before that, I was traveling a lot. I was like working a lot and I couldn't really work out. I was not really on top of my food and then lockdown happened. So for me, it was just such a weird transition from always being on the roads, being busy to just being inside. I feel like I never experienced this in the last years that I was just like, you know what? Okay. I was just not working out anymore. I was eating crap because it almost felt like a weird vacation or something. We were like constantly inside. I was with uh, my boyfriend and I was with his best friend, which was like really weird. And I just couldn't find any motivation to stay on top of this and to work out. I do know I haven't really been sharing that in the vlogs at that time. Two months ago, I gained about five kilos and I'm naturally pretty like slim and skinny. So five kilos was a lot. And the way I look there, there's absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, If I look at it now, I just look kind of healthy, but in reality, I was really not. And the most important thing was that I was not feeling good. I was not feeling good by not working out, feeling constantly bloating, having sugar cravings, eating non-stop because I was just like hanging around, hanging on the couch, um, eating like quick and fast food. And I think I'd never reached that point in, in my life. And when quarantine started, I really felt that. So after two weeks, I was just like, something just switched in my head and I was like, I need to change this. I'm not feeling great. Like at that point I was also, this quarantine can probably still keep on for a little bit. And I was like, why don't I use this extra time to be in the best shape I've ever been? And I just wanted to feel good again and like exercise and you know, I think also when you feel good in your own skin, you look more confident, you feel more confident. And I think that is the most important. So I made that switch and I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. I went back to my old routines and I really want to show you guys what I did, what I ate and what kind of movement I did. Because I think there are three really important things when you try to be healthier or when you try to switch to a healthy lifestyle. First of all, it is movement, which I think is really challenging right now. We're gonna go deeper in that. Then obviously nutrition. They always say getting back to shape is 80% nutrition and 20% workout. So just very good to know. And then I think the last thing, what is very important is your mental well-being and your self-love. And I think this is a very, very important uh, component to it which a lot of people misunderstand or forget about so let's get into nutrition first as that is one of the most important things i feel especially with having belly fat which i i don't know i just like gained everything on my belly mostly of that is nutrition if you want to get flat abs it is nutrition of course ab exercises but mostly nutrition first of all tip number one is try to eat home cooked meals and now especially during quarantine we're not going out for dinner we're not going to the restaurants but i do know it is tempting sometimes to order food all the time and most food from the restaurant that's why they taste so good are made with like heavy oils heavy salt and it's always better to just make this yourself, make your own veggies, get organic stuff. And if that's too hard on the list, just start with like fresh veggies. So home cooked meals and 
that was not the hard part for me because I love to cook, I love to be in the kitchen. I started trying to be creative with new recipes, things that would excite me and new options of like healthier versions. And I kind of wanted to walk through a little bit what I had for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So for breakfast, I often had like a smoothie. This is like a berry smoothie with banana, berries, ice. I put some protein powder in there, oat milk or almond milk. Um, I would always put greens in there like spinach or kale. Something else that I really loved was rice crackers with like avocado and egg and some like yummy seasoning. Then I also really like to have like oats with almond butter and I always have this in like small portions with some like fresh berries. And also what I really love is to have some coconut yogurt with some granola. So as you can see my breakfast is pretty light. And at one point I kind of stepped over to intermittent fasting too and it was not really like on purpose like I'm gonna go intermittent fasting. It was more that in the morning I was not like super super hungry and I, I tried it before and I actually felt really good. So with intermittent fasting you're eating for 8 hours and fasting for 16. But this is for men. For women you can do 10 hours of eating and 14 hours of fasting so which meant for me i would eat between 12 and 10 pm i never have dinner that late but i would more have a brunch instead of a breakfast and i know that a lot of people when the first thing when you say intermittent fasting they're like oh no i love my breakfast way too much and i completely understand that because i'm a breakfast person i absolutely love breakfast but i just delayed my breakfast a little bit so i would have it around like 12 o'clock and then maybe at 2 i would have lunch uh, and sometimes I would skip it and have it later as a snack in the day and I really felt for me that fasting period really worked for my body and in this moment I just really listened to my body whatever felt good because I've also done this before without intermittent fasting because I was craving breakfast in the morning and I felt that was more during winter time when I really wanted something like something warm to eat in the morning now it's getting warm in LA and I'm not really craving that so these are kind of the breakfast items I had for lunch i i think i made this so often i have these like new obsession with coconut wraps which are so easy to make and i fill them with greens and avocado sometimes i make some eggs or i put some like vegan cream cheese on it and it's absolutely delicious i eat that for lunch or I make a really big salad, which I really, really love. And I would just make it delicious. I wouldn't eat like a boring salad. I want to make something filling and something that makes me excited. And I think this is also important to make your food delicious and fun. So some examples I would have, I would have like a green salad with like chickpeas and dill, or I would have a wild rice bowl with avocado, or uh, I would have a green salad with squash and chickpeas. I would make variations uh, almost every day, sometimes with some of my leftovers. Sometimes I would add just protein with a little chicken or a little salmon or sometimes I would go for completely plant-based which was like chickpeas or beans. So I have spinach, some delicata squash, this is chickpeas, avocado and I have some olive oil dressing to this. Yummy! We got a salad with spinach, mint, satar breadcrumb, breadcrumbs Chickpeas, cucumber, tomato, sweet potato, some chicken. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. And I'm going to add some of the lime cilantro dressing. Protein, chicken, healthy fats, avocado, and some vitamins and all the nutrients in all the greens. So for dinner, Jason, Max and I have dinner all together and I often <laughs> cook this. So I wanna show you guys a couple of dishes I really, really love. I have made this like red curry soup with rice noodles and a lot of veggies with like bok choy and sometimes I would add extra tofu to this. We would make healthy cauliflower pizza. I would just get cauliflower crust at the health food store and then I would just add a ton of veggies on there. Something I really love was just a very simple grilled salad salmon with miso eggplant and some extra salad on the side and then also veggies and then a very easy dinner would be just veggies like sweet potato zucchini and i would eat cauliflower rice and the boys would have like potatoes something else was very delicious was like an edamame salad with kimchi fried rice so these are like some dishes i ate over the last two weeks 
And I think if you want to describe it or put it in a box, which I'm normally not really a huge fan of, I would say I followed like a paleo diet, so a lot of a lot of fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds, beans, some brown rice or have a quinoa, but I would have this in like a very limited amount. So I would normally have like carbs once a day, so either for breakfast, for oats, or during lunch, like wild rice in my salad, or for dinner as a side to my veggies and protein. And I would make sure to get enough protein either from beans, chickpeas, or from like a salmon or a grilled chicken. But actually I wouldn't eat that much like meat and chicken. I really tried to limit that down. So it was mostly like fish and beans. These were kind of the recipes I followed. And then obviously we have snacking. And I actually get a lot of questions from you guys like, when you start to eat healthy, that you're craving constantly, that you're hungry. And this is my tip number one, never feel hungry. If you're feeling super hungry, it means you haven't eaten enough. Obviously, snacking is completely okay. Uh, I often have like crudité, I don't know if I say that right. Just a cucumber with uh, hummus or avocado or put it on a rice cracker. Sometimes I make these like healthy brownies which are absolutely delicious. I will pop actually a recipe down below with a banana, it's kind of like a banana bread which is really really delicious. Or I would snack on some like nuts or sometimes a piece of fruit like an apple with almond butter. And I think it is very important to, to, whenever you're craving something, just choose for healthier options instead of craving like fast food and junk food. This way it is much easier to actually maintain this uh, lifestyle and to achieve your goals. So don't make it too hard on yourself. Eat whenever you feel hungry, but choose healthier options. I think that is my number one nutrition tip. And then of course drinking is very very important. Stay hydrated, drink a lot, a lot of water. I always have like, oh you can't see it, I have like three bottles of water next to my bed. I'm drinking water constantly and besides that I would have matcha obviously. I absolutely love a cold matcha in the morning and in the afternoon. I would sometimes have like iced coffee, I would make sparkling water with lemon, but just no like artificial sodas or lemonades or those kind of things and even occasionally in the weekends I would treat myself with a glass of wine and I think that's also should be something completely okay it is completely fine to reward yourself and you know if that like glass of red wine makes me extremely happy which it does then I would say go for it just don't start drinking every day obviously but I would just give myself a little treat and in the weekends I would enjoy like a glass of wine with my dinner. Now we got our nutrition. What did I do for movement? And I also really want to thank you guys because I've been doing a lot of uh, live streams together with my dear friend Sammy who is a fitness trainer and it has really been motivating me. I feel it's not only Sammy and me motivating you guys, it's also you guys motivating me. And I'm having so much fun in doing that. And I really feel that, you know, with this community, we can all like work out together and really try to live a healthier version. And what I really enjoy that with this community, we can all support each other to stay motivated and to live a healthier lifestyle. So the kind of workouts I did over the last few weeks were super, super diverse. And I really need diversity. I don't like to do something over and over again. It gets really boring to me. So I decided I wanted to get some movement in every day. So I woke up very early and every morning I would go for a little walk. Even if it was 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, it really depended how much time I had. But I just needed to walk it out a little bit instead of sitting inside all day. And this is such a simple way of moving, but it does really, it does really help and it really like activates your body to just feel a little bit better. And then besides that, I would most often do like 30 minutes workouts, between 30 and 45. I would do a lot of Sammy's workouts, which is like, you know, jump squats and like sometimes it was like a hit workout or booty with like booty bands. Sometimes I would do, there's this other app called Jet Sweat and on that app there is a program 
on their sculpting it's called like model fit and i absolutely love it it's kind of functional training with bands and with like little weights so you're kind of doing all these like stretch movements but at the same time you're like working every single muscle and it when you look at it you're like this is not heavy i'm telling you when you start doing this it's like hard it is really really hard so guys today i take it very slowly because i feel i put so much tension on my body and i really listen to what i kind of need so i'm rolling these bands around my feet and i'm just stretching my achilles i stretch my legs my shoulders today's gonna be a good stretch day uh so besides that i would also do melissa woodheld who does like a lot of pilates inspired workouts jason i would sometimes do pamela or eve I think that's how I pronounce it. We would do kind of like more hit workouts. So I would really do a combination between kind of slow, pilates, model fit, stretching, and more like high intensity, what I did with like Sammy or what I did on, on YouTube. And I think this diversity really worked for my body to kind of switch it up and really do what ever like feels good someday when i feel super tired i would go for a more pilates workout and when i feel i have more energy i push it a little bit i go for 50 minutes and i think this is a very important tip to also listen to your body obviously not when you're like i'm just lazy <laughs> then you should go but more like what do you feel what do you need and sometimes it might be 20 minute workout sometimes maybe a little bit longer i think this also counts for rest days on sunday i always always rest i just don't do anything i don't do a workout and sometimes it happened too that on a friday i'm not feeling it either and i'm so tired and i don't do it either i go for a longer walk so i think really listen to your body i worked out about five times a week it was not super intense but just keep the consistency going it is better to work out like three times a week instead of six times and then you're like take a week off and then another six times just spread it out uh do whatever feels good and then the last thing i wanted to touch base on which maybe might surprise you is your mental well-being if you are feeling anxious if you are feeling stressed if you put too much pressure on yourself if you are not motivated you can eat healthy you can work out like a crazy person but you're not gonna have the results as you want and this is something a very weird connection between your mind and between your body but if your body is in this like firefight modus of it's too much or feeling anxious or feeling too stressed for some reason like a super healthy diet or like working out so much it doesn't give you the best results even i notice when i'm on a holiday and i drink way more i like eat all this food i look the same because i'm just relaxed and your body for some reason kind of knows it i don't know the science about this but i think that is something really important to 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 notice as well and you know when you're feeling anxious it might be some breath work for you or maybe journaling or talking to a friend having social interaction if you don't feel motivation try to find a little purpose every day maybe make a little schedule like day by day this is what i want to do already in the morning and don't make this too big do achieve achievements in very small steps i think this is very important to really work on your mental well-being because if it's all right in here your body will automatically respond on that and it's also the other way around i had for example shoulder pain for a very very long time and i was like oh i need to work out more i need to like make my shoulders stronger or my arms stronger and i would work out more it would get worse like it was this whole circle and then at the end what was the cause it was stress that's why my shoulder was locked up but i responded in a completely different way by like training it more and it was just not a good thing so i think that is very very important to really take care of yourself mentally but then also physically and i think it's also super important to just not be too strict on yourself because that is gonna work really against you if i feel i want to have a glass of red wine 
I have a glass of red wine. If I feel I want to have a piece of chocolate, I have a piece of chocolate. I just like don't overdo it, but those kind of things just bring me so much happiness. <laughs> yes, it does. And you know, sometimes when I'm with Max and Jason and you know, we're having a little game night or it's a weekend and we're putting some fun things out, like that just makes me really happy. And if that makes me really happy, then that's good for my overall well being. So don't be too strict on yourself. Um, maybe set a date if you find it hard to balance, like, okay, on Sundays I'm gonna have something really yummy or anything. I think that is one of my main, main tips. I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video and I hope you guys enjoy watching my transformation. And it just takes time. Like, honestly, you have to be patient. I, I have to admit too, when I started to eat healthy and working out and within the first days I don't see any result. I kind of got a little grumpy, but then I just like looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, listen, it takes time. Being consistent is just so important. Just try to stay consistent, give it time. You can't do this overnight. Um, yeah, I think those are one of my best tips and tricks. There's something else I really wanted to say that something might work for one person and something doesn't work for another person. We are all different. We all need different things and we feel good by different things. So it is really important to just find out and experiment whatever feels good for you and what your body really needs. Because something might work for me, doesn't work for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting a lot of content with more recipe ideas, more challenges about like nutrition and stuff. Max and I are actually gonna do a 30 day no sugar challenge. We are gonna start working with a new program, which is going to fix like things in our body. So I wanna take you guys with on this journey and share everything about it. Also, if you have any questions for me, then don't hesitate and ask me in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram. I hope to see you guys very soon. Have a good day, everyone, and stay safe.